Hello lovelies, I hope you're all doing well. This video is going to be my usual Hobonichi cousin deco, but before I do, I wanted to take advantage and share with you my transfer sticker collection. I realized that my Hobonichi cousin is getting a little too thick and starting to kind of separate in the spine, so I should probably start using my transfer stickers to minimize the bulk and just stop hoarding them so much. In this blue one, I have mostly MU branded transfer stickers. And you've seen me use these a lot in my traveler's notebook, in my memory keeping insert. I also use them to make my own little stationery for pen paling and just decorating letters and stuff like that. And you'll notice that I have a ton of floral designs. I really enjoy the designs in the MU line, specifically the florals. Some of them look kind of realistic, which is so cool, almost like a pressed flower. And while I do like to add actual flowers to my deco, I do find that they tend to like crumble and fall apart. I feel like the transfer sticker is a good alternative to that. These two brands, I'm not sure where they're from, but I did get them from Emma Stationery. And this olive one, I'm really excited to use. Towards the back of this specific album, I have the leftovers from my Christmas transfer stickers. Also the new one from my previous stationery haul. And I also have some random Yoseka little newsletter postcards as well. And some stragglers in the back. In this peach colored one, I have mostly peon or Pion, I'm not sure how you say her name, but I mostly have Pion transfer stickers as well as some from, I think their name is Low, Lowly Design, something like that. And also Lady F, just anything that's not MU design. And a lot of these I haven't used because I actually have the pet tapes. I tend to buy the entire Pion collections. These ones are from her newer collection, and this time I was a little bit choosy with that one. I didn't love everything enough to collect it, so I just purchased the ones that I liked instead of purchasing her entire collection. And in the back here, I have these cute little embroidery and butterfly transfer stickers that I really want to use during the spring and summertime. And I hope you like this little flip through of my collection. I'm thinking for these little deco videos, for some of them, I could include little pieces of my stationary collection here and there. Now let's move on to the deco portion. And this will go by pretty quickly in my usual editing style. Let me know down below if you prefer to see a real-time deco or if you like to see these more sped up decos. This week I received one of my Pion tape orders. It reminds me of those 
Akita washi strips. I think that these are just so beautiful and delicate. I'm realizing that she made four different little groups and I think that it would be really fun to dedicate one little design set for every month in February. As weird as it sounds, I usually like to spend time with a new pet tape and really get to analyze the design so I can have like a little storage in my brain for future reference. I usually fussy cut the pet tapes and that's how I sort of get to know the designs and try to memorize it. So I feel like this will be a good way to figure out what kind of goes with what in these designs. And here spread out are all four groups of designs and I feel like they go together like you could really mix match each one but just to sort of challenge myself I'm gonna stick to one grouping a week and see what I can do with it. I will say I really like this little mixed match washi portion up top. I think it looks really cool. I put that purple one down there, but I feel like it doesn't really go. So I'm going to take it off. I think the weeklies are my favorite to decorate. I know I said that I was gonna put the February calendar and I actually did film it and everything, but I hated the, I hated the layout so much that I don't even wanna post it on the internet. It's kind of ugly. I was trying not to clutter the calendar page, but ended up doing that anyway. And I think from now on, I'm just gonna keep the calendar pages clean. Maybe I'll add one sticker or something like that, but I don't really want to deco the calendar pages. I like to use those pages to try to map out what I'm going to be doing with social media and things with YouTube specifically. As for the weekly pages, I totally intended to plan out my day, but I am a horrendous planner. I can't plan for the life of me. Anytime I plan something, it never happens. It's like I am jinxing myself. So what I've been enjoying the weeklies for is to see exactly how long it takes me to do certain tasks and see what I'm actually wasting my time on. I have a problem with procrastination and um, I like to see how long it actually takes me to do something like with editing it takes me forever just because I will edit for 10 minutes I get bored and then I move on to like cleaning something and then I come back to editing so I want to actually see how long it takes me to do these videos or a reel or anything to do with social media and that's what I've been tracking on there and I've been enjoying seeing exactly what I've been doing during the day. As for the daily pages, they are still the same. Half of it is for prayer and half of it is just to keep track of everything. Let me know down below which one is your favorite and also let me know if you prefer videos that are actually real-time deco or sped up like this. And I know this week was a little more basic, but I kind of like how it turned out. I like to have space to write down everything and just enjoy journaling. I found a cousin to be very fun to write in. And now it's time for the flip through. Let me know which one is your favorite. 
Do you like the weekly or do you like one of the daily pages? I think my favorite will have to be either Fridays or Sundays. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon with the next one.